Hi, it's Kevin Van Ord here, standing in for reviewer Josiah Renauden to tell you about Madden 15. Madden 15 corrects the series' troubled course by taking two big steps in the right direction. Number one, revamped defensive play gives you a reason to actively participate as you defend a drive. Number two, precise attention to detail returns the sense of awe that had gone missing. Deficiencies in the passing game and technical hiccups still prove distracting, but Madden 15's missteps do little to detract from an otherwise strong outing. Controlling the defense has felt like an afterthought in recent years since your actions as an active defender rarely made an impact on the progression of the play, but Madden 15 focuses on making it fun to play both sides of the ball. Favorable matchups allow you to slink past the offense, and once you've broken through, you're able to see your tackling range. The safest route is to use the more reserved tackle, which almost guarantees an easy sack, but you can also make use of the less accurate hit stick if you're feeling lucky. Systems that were once fairly automated now require your undivided attention, giving you more reasons to stay engaged in all four quarters of a game. The running game made considerable strides last year and it only feels sharper this time around. Breaking tackles and trucking past defenders looks and feels great, and you can feel the different attributes of each player as soon as the ball is snapped. Pass plays, on the other hand, can lead to some frustrations. You have a great deal of finesse with the ball when taking control of a quarterback, and receivers make more creative catches than ever before. Field has the catch. But interceptions happen still too often, and even the strongest receivers just don't do enough to battle for the ball. Play Now and online head-to-head -head modes are there for the exploring, and they're the best way to go if you just want to get on the field. But Connected Franchise is a feature attraction, and it's been given a bit of a facelift this year. Here, you choose between becoming a player, coach, or owner of your favorite franchise, which gives you the power to either affect the flow of individual games or get involved in the team's upkeep. The newest additions are a game prep feature and a statistic for individual player confidence. Game prep provides different activities that give you more experience, while confidence takes into account the ups and downs even veterans feel from week to week. However, some of the game prep drills involve nothing more than selecting a player and immediately earning the additional points without even running a play. Meanwhile, in Madden Ultimate Team, you create your fantasy team by opening booster packs bought with either in-game money or real cash. Solo challenges earn you coins and unlock full games with the possibility of earning even more money and the streamlined interface makes it easier than ever to slot in your best players. However, the pacing of progression is too slow if you're unwilling to whip out your wallet. Just throwing down a couple of bucks to expedite the process is tempting, turning what could be Madden's best mode into a sort of microtransaction scheme. But even if you never go beyond the play now mode, the mechanical improvements on offense and defense make Madden 15 well worth a look. This is the best playing football game, and unsurprisingly, it's also the best looking one. The feature set remains mostly unchanged, but each core mode has increased in breadth and decreased in clutter. Madden 15 looks the part of a next generation showpiece, but its biggest achievement is its dedication to improving core systems that have held the series back in the past.